Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tip here bringing you in our Minecraft World War 2 tutorial. And this tool will be going ahead and building Fat Man. Fat Man was the codename for a nuclear bomb that was detonated over the Japanese city of Nagasaki by the United States on August 9th, 1945. It was the second of the only two nuclear weapons ever used in wartime, the first being Little Boy. And its detonation marked the third nuclear explosion in history. It was built by scientists and engineers at Los Alamos Laboratory during or using plutonium from the Hanford site, and it was dropped from the Boeing B-29 Superfortress boxcar, piloted by Major Charles Sweeney. The name Fat Man refers to the early design of the bomb because it had a wide, round shape. It was also known as the Mark III Fat Man, it was an implosion-type nuclear weapon with a solid plutonium core. The first of that type to be detonated was the gadget in the Trinity nuclear test less than a month earlier on July 16th at the Alamogordo bombing and gunnery range in New Mexico. Two more were detonated during the Operation Crossroads nuclear test at Bikini Atoll in 1946 and some 120 were produced between 1947 and 1949 when it was superseded by the Mark IV nuclear bomb. The Fat Man was retired in 1950. So yeah, the Fat Man. Uh, basically the iconic bomb that was dropped by a B-29 um, onto basically, as I mentioned, Nagasaki. Um, so yeah, really a historic bomb and, you know, it marks a huge standpoint and basically the start of the nuclear arms race that we saw basically from World War II up to even modern times. So it's pretty crazy, um, pretty cool bomb and I thought that this would be a good tutorial, especially to go along with our B-29 tutorial that we just released, um, you know, before this tutorial came out so uh feel free to check out that and apply that bomb to it or have this bomb being transported or safeguarded or something there's a lot of things you can do with this bomb and i thought it would just be a fun build for you guys to have especially with the b29 um anyways uh let's go ahead and kind of take a quick look at it it's really simple simple straightforward it's just a giant bomb as you can see um so really straightforward in design um you know that's pretty much the bomb i really don't know what else to say about it pretty straightforward let's go and move into the tutorial for the fat man all right guys so going ahead and getting started we're going to go ahead and place down a end stone block like so we then want to go ahead and go off the end stone block by placing down another brick slab like so and then the both sides of this end stone block we're going to place down a uh, end stone slab to both sides with a wither skeleton skull coming off the two slabs once we have that finished there, we're going to go ahead and then go back from this by placing down a black concrete block in the center there and an air brick upside down stair to both sides. We're going to go and then place down a end stone block like this and a end stone top side to both sides. We're going to go and then place down a end stone upside down stair that goes back from this block, so just like this, and then a skeleton skull coming off the back here of the end stone block like so. To both sides of that skeleton skull, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a end stone wall. So just like that. Going ahead and going up from the skull, we're going to place down a end stone block. And again, skeleton skull is here to both sides of the block. And we also want to go ahead and place down a stone button come off this block here toward the back. We're going to go ahead and place down a another end stone wall on top of those two skeleton skulls. End stone stair, or full block right here, and then an end stone stair like that on top of it. And coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Now at this point here, we're going to take our birch wood trap doors. We're going to place down a row of three across the top there, row of three across the bottom, and a row of three across the sides. So we're going to make sure the sides are closed like so. Again, same thing over here. Just like that. After that's finished, we're going to go ahead and then place down a end stone wall. Come off the sides here of this um, end stone block right there, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood sign coming off the walls here to the sides. We're going to go and then place down a row of three of end stone blocks, followed by a row of three of black concrete, another row of three of end stone blocks, and we want to go and then place down an end stone block here in the middle, followed by a nether brick wall to both sides of that block. Coming off this uh, end stone block, we're going to place down a stone button on the front here, and then a stone button on both of these black concrete blocks on both sides like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a end stone block on top here, end stone slab to both sides, black concrete block on top, narrow brick stair to both sides, end stone block right here, a end stone slab to both sides, 
and a nether brick slab on top of this and stone block, followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off those two slabs like so. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves iron bars. We're going to place down iron bars coming down from these two stairs like so, and also two iron bars coming off these two stairs up on top there. And that right there is going to basically do it there for the Fat Man Atomic Bomb. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial, something a little simple and kind of, um, you know, fun little piece you guys can put uh, around your worlds or, you know, find something to do with it. I'm sure you guys are pretty creative in that kind of sense to, just to uh, do something cool with this. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this design. If you guys do not use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be from the build. Tune to my channel where it's video if this does appear in social media sites. As always, guys, give me proper credit for the build. You're free to use it for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build. Have fun with it and all that fun stuff. Um, but other than that, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.